Well, three days and counting until we gather with our families and celebrate Thanksgiving, probably with a very large meal. That's usually the case, and if you haven't finished your shopping, there's some things you can pick up to make your meal just a little bit healthier. Cheryl Lazicki is the Director of Nutrition Services at St. Mary's Healthcare, our expert in weight management, and you know, we talk about this is the holiday that really focuses on food, and Cheryl, you're telling us there are some great options that we can introduce to make our our meal a whole lot healthier. Exactly. What I'm going to show you here today is how to cut the calories in your traditional Thanksgiving holiday meal in half. In half. In half. Okay. Wow. Well, it, let's start with the normal, what we usually <laughs> eat. Yes. On this side of the table, we have the main plate, the appetizer, and the pecan pie. You add all three of those items together and you come up with 2,200 calories for the entire meal. Now that's how much you and I should consume in the entire day, wow. yet we're consuming it in one sitting. And you think about the calorie makeup, not just the calories themselves, but all of those pretty carb heavy there, right? Right. Pretty carb heavy and pretty fat heavy. Oh. So let's take a few examples. If we go from our cheese cracker salami plate to our very low calorie fruit, vegetable, shrimp, and cocktail sauce plate, we're cutting the calories significantly. We're cutting the fat significantly. If you look at just this one cheese cracker cheese combination, that's 65 calories in that single serving right there. Just for one. Just for one. And many people load up their whole plate. That's kind of their pre-game activity. Yeah, it's um, not uncommon. And you would only cut out half of those calories in your turkey trot. You would only burn half the calories in that morning run. Wow, that is really amazing. And so then you think about the healthy alternatives. I guess I'm someone who doesn't really always think about shrimp as being a healthy alternative, but it really is. It is. It's very low in fat. It's high in protein, and protein helps you keep you fuller longer, and that's one of the things that we really encourage people to do at our St. Mary's Weight Control Program is to have protein in your appetizer, protein in your main course, protein throughout the day, because it does keep you feeling fuller longer. So let's look at this plate. On this plate, we have the mashed potatoes with the gravy. Here we've let the gravy off and saved about 90 calories. Here we have the white meat turkey with cranberry sauce. And I'm sorry, it's the dark meat turkey with cranberry sauce. The cranberry sauce adds an additional 120 calories. Just that slice? Just that slice, wow. exactly. <laughs> and is dark meat the... Dark meat is higher in calories, mm -hmm. higher in fat. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we have the stuffing. The portion size on the stuffing on this place is twice the size of it on this side. And then we have corn instead of a nice apple. We want to encourage people to cover half their plate with fruits and vegetables, and that's what we see on this healthier version of the plate. And the typical green bean casserole, which is really a staple, yeah. you can make that a lot healthier. You can, or you can turn it into green beans almondine okay. and save even more calories. So this is a very much healthier plate. Half the fruits are ve fruits and vegetables. Um, and then let's just talk a little bit about portion sizes. If we look at what our key portion sizes, is, a meat, serving a meat should be the example of a deck of cards. It's kind of nice when you can use those visuals because yes. all of us can really think about that then when we're putting it on our plates. Mm -hmm. And a golf ball is the size of what our stuffing should look like. So you see on this plate, the stuffing's twice the equivalent of the healthy plate because it's two golf balls instead of one. If we look at the baseball example, half of a baseball should be your serving of mashed potatoes. Oh, okay. Interesting. And then the dice that you see here, four dice are equal to a serving of cheese, or you can use your index finger. Okay. And then a good example that I always give people for the portion for gravy is your thumb tip. Oh, one just tablespoon. That bit. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and the same goes I for your know. dip for your vegetables. Oh, man. oh, oh my god! I always look at a coffee cup size. And well, but the light bulb is bigger, and that's the dessert, right? That's your dessert, and we're saving calories by going for the pumpkin instead of the pecan. But really, when it's all said and done, there's two schools of thought when we're looking at a Thanksgiving meal or any holiday celebration. Is you can go with the regular options and just consume less of them or you can lighten it up by using low fat and increasing your spices to increase the 
flavor and aroma. Mm -hmm. So there's really two ways you can approach it. It is fantastic. And we also start to think about exactly how much we're eating and, and why we're eating as much as we are. You know, I know Thanksgiving is kind of one of those holidays where a lot of people just feel uncomfortable by the yeah. time they're done eating. Exactly. I love to refer people to the MIT scale, the hunger scale. And um, it's a scale on the range of 1 to 10. And we like people to eat when they're in the 4 to 6 range. 1 to 3 is when they're overly hungry. Um, maybe they've skipped breakfast. Um, maybe they've been too busy to eat. Or maybe they're ignoring their hunger. 4 through 6 is where they are satisfied. 7 is when you're saying to yourself, I really want to go up for seconds, but I'm feeling full. Eight is where you say, oh, I really should not have gone up for those seconds. I am totally uncomfortable. Nine is when you're so uncomfortable that you physically need to just go sit out and bed in front of the TV. Or perhaps you take a nap, or hopefully you go for a walk with the family and go outside, because it is going to be a beautiful weekend. And then 10 is what I like to call Thanksgiving full. <laughs> That's where you don't even want to see food for yeah. the rest of the day after oh, that no big kidding. meal. What an eye-opener, though, to see what traditionally we've been eating for years, mm -hmm. how you can modify it, especially the cheese tray. I really had no idea. Those visuals are going to stay. I'm going to put those out at my buffet. Yeah, that's <laughs> Yeah, you sure. put a baseball and the golf ball there. And we really appreciate your year-round commitment to weight management and sensible eating. We can find all this information on your website, I'm sure. Exactly. Or you can call 685-3333. And you can also join us on Facebook at St. Mary's. We are always putting up healthy nutrition tips and good information on how to live your life healthier, longer, and with more vitality. Fantastic. And we asked you if it was better to do that exercising before or after, and she said... Just, Just get do it, it Just get moving. Just do it. Go before or after. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks, Cheryl. Some great reminders and, and some great eye openers for us this morning. Thanks. We'll be right back. Amazing. This is 8 West.